It is really difficult to get invisible glue lines when you're using light colored wood like maple. So today we're going to do a little experiment and try and figure out how to get better glue joints on white or maple wood because that's the binding we're using for the giveaway. So what makes these glue lines suddenly appear? If you Google the internet that Al Gore claims to have invented, you're going to find that most people believe that CA glue is thin enough that when it hits the end grain on these boards, it sucks into that end grain and it stains the wood. I'm not sure if that's exactly what happens, but if that's what Al Gore tells me, then I guess I need to believe it. When I first tried to test this out, um, the ends that I was sanding there were just being burnt. Like they weren't being sanded clean at all, they were, they were just uh, black. So I tried to clean the disc a little bit, see if that would help, but um, it really didn't make much of a difference. So I changed out the disc and tried some more pieces and they came out great. They didn't have any burning on them at all and that's exactly what we wanted. Now my favorite three woods for binding are uh, rosewood, bloodwood, and maple. So I decided I'd go ahead and uh, make a couple pieces out of the bloodwood and the rosewood as well so I could see how they'd turn out. I, I rarely have problems with rosewood or bloodwood but I thought I'd throw them in the mix here anyways. As you can see, I'm not using any kind of a jig to, to glue these things. I'm just kind of holding them together and putting some drops of CA on there. Um, I was hoping this would work well for this test, but I, I kind of had trouble getting some of them to glue proper, but at least straight. A lot of people use white glue or just regular wood glue and seal up the end of it. So I'm gonna try white glue but I'm also going to try dipping them in lacquer and I'm also going to try epoxy. So we'll see which of the, of the three of those actually work the best. I sanded off all the excess glue so we could get a better look at these glue joints. Now for the lacquer pieces, I just dipped them into a little bucket of lacquer and uh, wiped off the excess and that's about all I did with it. The epoxy pieces were a little trickier. I had to have this tiniest little drop of epoxy so I didn't want to waste it. And then I got out my custom made zebra wood mixing stick, mixed them all up really good, and then just kind of smeared the edges into the, into the epoxy. With everything lined up side by side, actually the white glue still looks better than the plain CA, the epoxy, or the lacquer. I was actually shocked that the epoxy didn't look better. Um, I figured it wouldn't soak into the wood very much and I'd get just as good of a glue joint as the white glue, but that wasn't the case. Looking from the edge, the top piece is still the wood glue, the white glue. The middle one was the CA and the bottom one is the epoxy and uh, the white glue is really quite invisible at least compared to the other two all right well the clear winner in this video is obviously al gore because he's getting all this free publicity to help him with his presidential campaign but on the binding thing and the how do we seal end grain i think the clear winner for that is actually the white glue i i'm really shocked that the epoxy didn't do better but uh, the results are the results so we'll be using white glue on the binding for the giveaway guitar and I will see you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe and go to my website uh, spenceracoustics.com and enter that giveaway for this guitar. See you later.